Where is MH370? The question that has left families in anguish and experts baffled. This question has haunted the world for over a decade, sparking countless theories and investigations. In March 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappeared without a trace, carrying 239 passengers and crew. The world watched in shock and disbelief. Despite extensive searches, the plane was never found. The vast ocean seemed to swallow it whole, leaving no clues behind. But now, a new claim by a Tasmanian scientist might have finally solved the mystery. Could this be the breakthrough everyone has been waiting for? A scientist from the University of Tasmania's Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies has recently made headlines with his bold claim. This claim has sparked a wave of interest and debate within the scientific community and beyond. According to his extensive research, MH370 lies in a 6,000-meter deep trench in the southern Indian Ocean. This trench is one of the deepest and most remote parts of the ocean, making it a challenging location for search and recovery operations. This site, located at the eastern end of the Broken Ridge, is in a rugged underwater landscape that was previously overlooked during the search efforts. The terrain here is treacherous and complex, which may explain why it was missed in earlier searches. But what led him to this conclusion? The scientist meticulously analyzed a variety of data sources, including satellite communications, ocean drift models, and flight simulations. The scientist believes that the key lies in a flight path from the pilot-in-command's home simulator, which aligns with the longitude of Penang Airport. This flight path was a crucial piece of evidence that had been largely ignored in previous investigations. This route was initially dismissed by the FBI and other officials, but according to him, it holds the answer to the plane's final resting place. He argues that the dismissal was premature and that a thorough re-examination of this route is necessary. He compares the damage found on MH-370's wings and flaperon to the controlled ditching performed by Captain Sully on the Hudson River in 2009, suggesting a similar scenario for MH-370. This comparison provides a compelling argument for his theory, as both incidents show strikingly similar damage patterns. In his view, science has now provided the most likely location of the plane. He believes that with the right resources and international cooperation, a new search in this area could finally bring closure to one of aviation's greatest mysteries. The scientific community is now faced with the challenge of verifying these findings and potentially launching a new search mission. While this discovery could be groundbreaking, it's now up to the authorities and search teams to verify this claim. They will meticulously examine every piece of evidence, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for the truth. Could this be the final chapter in the MH370 mystery? Only time will tell. The world watches with bated breath, hoping for closure to this tragic and perplexing story. But for now, it seems that science may have finally solved one of aviation's greatest enigmas. The dedication and perseverance of countless individuals may soon bring answers to the families and loved ones affected by this tragedy.